Scott Dorval with your Idaho News 6 forecast. Good evening, everyone. The wind has picked up at times today. We've had some sunshine around as well, but also some cloud cover. Notice the clouds going in the opposite direction, east to west over the Treasure Valley today. We had a couple sprinkles a little while ago. Turn the camera around looking towards the uh, the east here with the cloud cover coming in. You see darker clouds towards the foothills as we're getting some showers in the Boise Mountains in the foothills and coming up right up to Arrow Rock Reservoir. Got a chance for a shower here shortly. 67 degrees still. Southeast wind at 17, so it's a little on the breezy side across the Treasure Valley and then a little breezy in the Magic Valley as well. Some bigger storms here, even some special weather statements showing up. Uh, then some hail reports, a hail report right there. Another hail report over John Day, Oregon. Those storms are going to be the largest. Those will tend to track towards the west. Some of these showers in Washington County. Adams County may end up uh, getting some intensity here as well. Had some lightning just northwest of Idaho City a little while ago. There are the showers showing up now in eastern Boise County as the Doppler radar is beginning to pick them up. No good radar coverage in here, but there are showers. And those are going to push towards Emmett and towards north of Emmett, towards Ola and Sweet. And you see some isolated showers coming north of the interstate. So a chance for showers this evening for the Treasure Valley. For the Magic Valley, less shower coverage. But Fairfield, get ready. You got a pretty good shower, maybe even a storm coming on in. And up towards Ketchum, there are showers and some isolated storms there as well. Interesting weather map. High temperatures today, 70 in Boise, 65 in Twin Falls. Typically, it's warmer to our south and west, right? Well, this is where our low pressure system is. Only 52 in Medford. The high temperature, look how chilly down to the south. This cool weather is going to slide to the south here. So, still warm in the Yakima Valley. 76 degrees today and everything rotating towards the east here. This is our future cast going into tomorrow. Those storms will stay to the west and then we'll have some cloud cover across southwest Idaho. Kind of a mix of clouds and sunshine. Couldn't be a sprinkle during the morning hours and a chance for some heavier showers in the eastern Magic Valley. As the day progresses, the wind will increase feeding into that storm, which is now to our east. And that's what's going to increase the wind and a hobbling wind, especially Boise eastward. Strongest wind here in the western Magic Valley. Valley. Wind gusts could go 50 to 55 in the Boise area. Wind gusts to 35, maybe 40 towards Mountain Home, 42, and then a little less of wind gusts to the west. But it's going to be a breezy day tomorrow and still mild with temperatures in the mid 60s. There's that low pressure system. Again, air feeds into this low pressure system. So as it slides to the east, now we get that northwesterly wind. And the situation is, is we got high pressure to the west. We're going to have breezy conditions for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, at times gusty wind and temperatures don't change too much. They're going to cool on Tuesday and on Wednesday a little bit. Warm air trying to come in from the south here will start to make a, its way a little bit back. This, this chart is updated since we've gone on since I looked at it last and it's showing to me that it's a little bit cooler here. This is probably more of what I would have thought. So keeping it on the cool side for Tuesday and Wednesday and then a bit of a warm up with hopefully less wind coming in for Friday and then into the week. Weekend. I think it's going to be a little iffy. Saturday's looking good. I'll keep you updated on that. McCall, look at this, the melting ice, and uh, what's the uh, kind of moving across the lake right here? So, Pay It Lake finally melting here with temperatures well into the 50s, cooling into the 40s here coming up. While in the Sun Valley area, not too much going on this week except some gusty wind tomorrow. We're going to cool from near 60 today back into the 40s. My Scott score for the day tomorrow for the Boise area, about a 7 out of 10 coming up for the day tomorrow. Quick check of that forecast for the Treasure Valley. Some cloud cover around, some sunshine a little bit. Breezy conditions still in the 60s, but winds could gust to 30 miles per hour. 50s likely in the McCall area, so it's going to be cooler a little bit. Generally in the 50s for Sun Valley and for the Magic Valley tomorrow, the wind is going to howl. Gust to 55 miles per hour, so keep that in mind. For the Magic Valley, we're going to stay cool towards Tuesday and Wednesday. And for the Treasure Valley, Tuesday and Wednesday, the coolest days and hopefully warming up by Saturday.